Oh man, we're playing Lawnmower Simulator today. I could not be more excited at this current moment. I don't know, dude. It seems like the most boring game on the planet, but uh, you know, it is what it is. What's the cut? What's the cut on this one? The cut height range, five to six centimeters. All right. I got to go find some objects. Looks like I can sprint and stuff. Look, if you've never played this, what is this? What is this? What? What is this? Why is this on the ground, dude? Was somebody out here working their thighs in the middle of the yard? On a freshly non-mowed grass? Come on, man. Why are there bolt cutters out here? That seems suspicious. I don't necessarily like what was happening there, if I'm being honest. Garden gnome makes, makes total sense, honestly. What we got here? Ooh, flying model rockets on the sky. I'm sorry. Nobody knows the front bottoms here. Excuse me. It is what it is, man. What do we got here? That's just a stick. All right, man. At least we avoided picking up any and all uh, dog droppings. That's what's up. Look at this mower I have going on right now. Look at this thing. I, I can't tell if this looks professional or if this looks sketchy. Like, the goatee alone will definitely indicate to you that I have multiple DUIs for sure. If you see a man with this goatee right here, they have lost the will to live, and they definitely, 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 definitely have at least one DUI or DWI. Couldn't tell you. One of the two, 100%. All right, we're going to throttle setting yet. We got the RPM up heavy. I actually already cut this lawn once upon a time, but apparently it didn't count, or I did such a poor job that they decided to give me another shot. All right, let's change the cut height. How do I how do I know? All right, we need yes, there it is. There it is. Now we're looking good. I got to get this lawn all trimmed up nice here. Okay, can I change the camera? First person view looks looks horrible. I don't like that. Okay, we're already going sideways, which is probably not a good sign. Like It's not a good sign that we're already not cutting straight trying to work on not cutting these dranges up real quick you know nothing nothing serious out here this is very relaxing i feel like this game and all games of the same ilk like their core concept was like okay people had fun doing this thing in insert open world game here why don't we just make the whole game about that this should be super fun like that is pretty much how these games came to be this is the exact way they were marketed in the same way that they are operational. Now, mid, the fine folks at mid-grade mowers over here, you know, we don't play games. Like, we do things efficiently. We're all about nature. We do everything by the book. Look at this skill, dude. We're hitting this in reverse, too. Oh, yeah, no, we're out here. Look at that. Yeah, no, no, no blade of grass left behind. We already got 5% of this yard gone, dude. We're good. Okay, we're swerving a little bit already. Whoa, 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 whoa. No one's butchering the lawn, okay? That's not happening here. You know what? You try mowing your lawn after six Miller High Lifes, okay? It's not very easy. Ask Reggie here. Reggie here got a nice midday drunk going on. You know, I could say that he's just living the college lifestyle, but I feel like you may know this already, but being that he works as a lawn maintenance contractor, he did not go to college. But it's okay, because college is for losers. Reggie here makes great money which he spends most of on video slot machines at the local bar but that's besides the point no look reggie's not judging your lifestyle unless you're you know lifestyle's different than his then he's definitely judging it but it is what it is there we go reggie does not eat ass i would like to clarify he doesn't do that mainly because no woman is allowed within 15 feet of him but that's besides the point that was uh, you know, those were trumped up charges. Those those were fake. So, you know, it's all good. Look at Reggie. Oh, he's, he's swerving, dude. The perk 30s are hitting hard right now on my boy right here. It is what it is. I'm sorry, but no one with a goatee like that, mm -mm, don't trust him. Unless you're, unless you're not from America. If you're from America, I'm sure you can have a goatee just fine. But if you're an American and you have a goatee like that, I know you have a sordid past. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it for sure. If you were important enough to be Me too you probably would have been Me too by now. You know, if you've ever, ever been in the vicinity of a woman who's not your wife, Pam, who's a goddamn bitch. You know, so it's all good. 
Look at that. Look at that. Look at us missing the grass. Oh, no. Oh, I love grass clippings. I mean, suck it, dude. You're paying $300 for pristine lawn care. Like, I don't think it really matters all that much, if I'm being honest. You're overloading your engine. What is this? What is this? This is not American-made if I'm overloading it by just revving it repeatedly in reverse. Come on, man. It's all good. There we go. Look at Reggie. Uh-oh. Skirt, skirt. Missed a, missed a spot there. Look at this. is pristine. The second attempt going great, I must say. I feel like I am dominant. Like, I, I am definitely hurting my own lawnmower by going in reverse as much as I am, though. I should probably... <laughs> should probably turn the lawnmower around instead of doing this, but there's probably a reason of which uh, every time I've ever seen someone on a riding mower, they're not just going back and forth in a straight line while hitting reverses. That's probably... There's probably a reason for that, I would assume. Oh, no, no, no. I destroyed the flower. Oh, God, I can't handle any more fines. Reggie already has to pay alimony and child support. Ugh. This is going to be rough, dude. Oh, Reggie's going to have to explain this new incursion of cost upon his 24-year-old girlfriend he met who bartends at the local sports bar. It's going to be rough, dude. Not good. Not good in any way, shape, or form. It's all good. This is, like, I can't tell if this is relaxing or super stressful. I feel like if I did this for, like, a real job, which I have mowed lawns before, contrary to popular belief, and it sucked ass, and I applaud anybody who does landscaping. Uh, it's relaxing in video game form, though, I will say. You know, it is what it is. Look at that, dude. We are cruising. This man said, do some donuts. All right. Well, I mean, I will do some donuts. I'm going to draw a dick at some point, obviously. Like, you know, that's going to happen. But right now, I'm trying to be the best lawn care professional that I can be. Which isn't a very good one, but that's kind of besides the point, is it not? All right. There we go. Oh, we're cutting up right now, dude. This is looking nice. This is really nice. This is a nice lawn right here. They are about to be the pride of the neighborhood in what I can only assume is like Iowa. You know, it is what it is. There we go. Oh, there it is. Look at Reggie go to work. There we go. Look at my man. No, Reggie doesn't touch uh, marijuana products. Um, the reason Reggie doesn't touch marijuana products is due to a court order. But, you know, not because he doesn't like to party. You know, it's just that he gets dropped by his PO pretty frequently for failure to pay child support. It's not his fault, truly. At least that's what he told me anyway. There we go. I, I feel like I'm turning Reggie into some sort of video game folk hero right now when he's actually just like your dad. But it's all good. Reggie's last name is Smoke Mids. It, you know. Look at him crushing it right now, dude. If there was a final... Is there, like, a... There's got to be, like, a world championship for lawn cutting. I, I just feel like there has to be. There's a world championship for the dumbest things on the face of the planet. There is no way there's not a, like, lawn care world title. If there was, we're going for it, dude. It's probably in, like, Spokane, Washington. I would assume... No, this, this feels like a Texas thing. This feels like a Fort Worth, Texas kind of activity. Just the pristine cutting ability. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to see some more difficult terrain out here, because this is nothing. This is nothing. If I can do this, hmm, we're good. I mean, I just feel like Spokane, Washington is a very, how do I put this delicately, Caucasian environment. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> just, just, I think it's the name, truly. I don't know, dude. I feel like a lot of people named Bill live there. Oh, there we go. Oh, I don't have a bag on my lawnmower, which is probably a tactical error, but it is what it is. You know what? If you're paying $300 for your lawn to be cut, then, you know, you're going to have some, uh, you're going to have some, uh, bagging to do. Like, let's be real. Like, you get what you pay for. And, I mean, you hired Reggie, so you, you know what you're getting at this point. I feel like someone's going to watch this and think my name's Reggie, which is not accurate. Reggie is a fictional character of which is on this lawnmower right now. So, you know, 
don't be getting mad at me at what Reggie thinks, because Reggie is a weird individual for sure who most certainly peaked in high... Well, at least he thinks he peaked in high school, but I don't really think he ever peaked, if I'm being honest. Like, this might be his peak right now as a small business owner, which is really depressing. Uh, it's depressing on a level that I really can't explain fully. Yeah, look at that corner cut right there. You've never seen finesse like this. No, sir. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel like every town in the United States has a bar called Brewski's. I, I just feel like that's accurate. I, I don't know if that's 100% accurate, but I just feel like every single place in the U.S. has a, has a Brewski's. Like, that has to be real, right? That's just such a, like... If you own a bar because you have extra money from something, who knows what, probably retirement or a divorce settlement, and you open a bar and you have no idea where to, like, what to name it and what to, like, at all, basically, you just name it after beer and you're good to go. Like, that's all you have to do. I have no statistical or empirical evidence to support my claims that every small U.S. town has a bar named Brewskies, but it just feels right, and sometimes that's really all you need, truly. Somebody go ahead and do the research for me on this one. That would be super sick. <laughs> How many brewskis can you find? I feel like there was definitely one in my hometown for sure. Um, I feel like there was one in, like, Wisconsin one time. I feel like I saw one, and I got really hyped. Because I was like, I knew it, dog. I knew there were more brewskis out here. Cause the place in my hometown was an absolute shithole, dude. That place was gross. Like, people would eat their food, and I would be sitting there like, man. I don't know if you want to do that, dude. Like, if John Taffer ever came in here, oh my god, you would never eat this food again. Or you might still, because you think, like, John Taffer's an agent of the deep state. I don't really know, but either way, like, he would not approve of the cleanliness of this facility. That's all I gotta say. Okay, there we go. But Reggie would still eat there, because he would, in fact, think that John Taffer was an agent of the deep state. There we go. Look at that. Oh, look at that cut, dude. Absolute pristine work right there. I feel like I left some, some strands over here. Let's get them bad boys out of here. There we go. What a nice little park bench in your backyard. Hmm. Let me run into it real quick. Take these fucking trenches down. Oh, no, 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 no. We can't handle any more fines, dude. We're already doing rough financially as is. There we go. All right, well, let's go. Do a little, uh, do a little, uh, there it is. Back it up, back it up, back it up. I feel like I picked the wrong lawnmower. Like, I feel like there's definitely a lawnmower I should have picked, and this is not the one. I only had three options, though. The fact that this game has real officially licensed uh, lawn care equipment is fantastic, by the way. Like, the fact that they went out and secured the landscaping, you know, equipment, real legitimacy is added to the game. For sure, like, Hank Hill would nut playing this game. Like, I know he doesn't fuck with video games at all in the King of the Hill franchise, but I feel like, except for that one episode where he got addicted to propane, uh, but this, this is a game he could get behind. I could also see Hank Hill saying that this is stupid, and he would go mow his own lawn. But he's also so much of an American psycho that it's also possible he may low, like mow lawns in his off time. For sure. 100% yo we're crushing this right now dude we're going to state dog 100% 100% what do you mean I love grass clippings I'll get off and clean them up shut up quit telling me what to do this would have been a good game man Bobby would have stopped playing this long ago straight up he would never have played this he wants to be a prop comic because he's a fucking idiot straight up there is no field of which less success can be had than prop comedy can you name one prop comic? Probably not. Je oh, Jeff Dunham, right? Do puppets count as props? I feel like they kind of do. Reggie loves Jeff Dunham, by the way. There's no possible way a man on a lawnmower with a goatee doesn't love Jeff Dunham. I hardly think that that's even accurate. That, that there's a possibility that he doesn't like Jeff Dunham. There's just no fucking way. Like, I don't buy it. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Carrot Top, dude. Carrot Top's such a weird little gremlin-looking person. Straight up. I don't think it's the red hair either. It's just like him. You're not allowed to look that goofy, but then also be swole, in my opinion. That's just how I feel, though. There we go. Red green? That's not... That is not a real person. That cannot be a real person. I, I refuse to believe that that's a real person. I made a huge mistake. I got lost again. 
Wait, you got some lemon trees in your backyard? You are mid... Oh, you are middle class fancy, aren't you? Okay. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm mowing this lawn for this couple that lives here while they're at Chili's having a date night, which I think is pretty great. Personally, I would like some Chili's. I'm gonna probably go after I collect this $295 check. You know what I'm saying? Get some jalapeno poppers. It's all good. Did Reggie... <laughs> Yeah, Reggie hasn't figured out who robbed the storage shed yet, personally. Um, he has theories about who did it, which range wildly from, like, the Biden administration to, you know, the one Latino guy he hired once. So, but that was, like, five years ago. He's not even sure if he's here in Guatemala, but he still believes that he probably did it, which is, you know, obviously false. Uh, he doesn't really know. I would uh, probably wager it's his tweaker brother, if I had to guess, but he couldn't bear to actually, like, blame him for the theft. So, you know, it is what it is. If music was playing right now, I feel like it's a high probability it would be Bruce Springsteen, but I don't know. He also looks like a Morgan Wallen man, personally. I feel like, yeah, but he might also be one of those guys who's like, I don't like that bullshit new country. I only like Brooks and Dunn. I don't know, though. Reggie's kind of a hard person to read, if I'm being honest. Oh, Reggie loves InfoWars, of course. He's been slapping InfoWars stickers on the light bulbs in his hometown for years. Still yet to get the recognition he deserves, but, you know, it, it is what it is. He'll keep working at it outside of his, you know, daily lawn mowing activities. How many lawn or non-landscaping logo shirts does he own? Not very many. Not, not very many in any way, shape, or form. Uh, pretty much all of them are landscaping adjacent at the very, very least. A couple auto body shirts from local establishments that align with him politically. But for the most part, kind of just like, you know, landscaping shirts, uh, polo shirts for random sports teams in the area of which he never played. Uh, you know, some like grunt style, vaguely military shirts, even though he never served because of cowardice. You know, a lot, of, lot going on with Reggie, truly. On <laughs> the bar from his condo. <laughs> Yeah, the dive bar down the street from the condo, uh, there's two, actually. There's brewskis and shooters. Uh, personally speaking, he's more of a shooter's man because, you know, obviously, as the name implies, he likes to shoot guns. He doesn't, you know, legally own any uh, due to lack of child support and alimony getting rid of his, uh, you know, ability to have them legally. But he is down for guns in general in the First Amendment. It's just, unfortunately, he can't have any. So that, that kind of sucks for him, I suppose. What a pristinely cut lawn, dude. I feel like I'm just burning out the transmission in this lawnmower, though. Like, I feel like this lawnmower is having some rough times, dude. This is bad. Yeah, Reggie's kind of chill, though. He's a chill guy, you know, uh, if you follow very certain criteria on what he views as a real American. You know, other than that, he's fine. Straight up, though. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You just feel the rumble on the controller, you know what I mean? You just know you're cutting the shit out of this lawn. It feels so good. Straight up. What does Reggie drive? Like, for a car? Come on, man. You know exactly what he drives. I don't even need to say it. You know for a fact he drives a 1999 Ford. Like, come on. A Ford pickup truck. I don't know which one. Probably the one with, like, multiple tires on the back for no reason, I would assume, is what he drives. Um, he does have a landscaping work truck, but that's kind of not owned by him. That's actually owned by the bank, so that's not his personal recreation vehicle. He can't legally declare it as his because, you know, like, his wife will take it. And that's not what we need right now, personally. You know, he's got some personal trouble. We don't really need any of that going on. Oh, God, I'm going to fuck these azaleas up, dude. Oh, no. <laughs> Hey man, you want it right up? Oh no, there it is. Oh, I just like, oh, that's just grass clippings? Yo, that's fine, dude. Grass clippings don't mean anything. I'm gonna get off the lawnmower and pick them up in a second. I got a weed whack still, so it's all good. There it is, there it is. Oh, look at that, look at that pristine movement. You're never seeing, if there is a lawnmower simulator world championships, like you better fucking believe that I'm gonna be in there, dude. I will be practicing day and night so that I can bring the title to my house. Oh man. I wonder if I get to go by my stage name of Reggie Smoke Mids. I don't know, dude. I don't know how it works. Like, do you go with your digital lawnmower or do you go with, like, you as a person? Because I would prefer to go as Reggie Smoke Mids personally. 
Though he does sound like I have turned this character into just an absolute degenerate. But it's all good. Are those knockout roses badass? That is a that's a sentence I've never heard before, and I, I love it. I'm here for it 100 percent Yeah, let me lock into the five seed, dude. If there's like a 250k tournament for lawn mowing, like I got this, dude. Just wait. Just wait. I'm gonna off lawn mower so hard. It's gonna be sick. Alright, we got 97% of this lawn cut up, ready to go. Perfect. I've left just so many piles of dead plant matter in my wig but it's fine because this is my job now the real issue is like i have three percent of this lawn that i haven't mowed yet and i have truly no idea where it could possibly be so this is going to be the issue here wait hold on i think i figured it out yeah we got some edges to hit no biggie oh yeah there it is there it is look at that look at that oh that's commercial work right there this is why they call me the big gun of the Midwest, dude. There it is. Don't hit the flowers. Don't hit the flowers. There we go. All right. Hit a quick right. You know what? This thing's got the got the turn radius. I don't see a Toro doing this. I mean, they probably do. I and mean, there's some pretty expensive lawn care equipment that I don't have access to, being that I'm paying alimony right now. But, you know, it is what it is. I know I left grass clippings. I'm cutting the grass, game. I'm aware, okay? I get it. All right, there's no way for me to not leave grass clippings. It's quite literally my job to leave them. I mean, I mean, I'll go pick them up later. It's fine, but like, my whole thing is I have to pick up grass clippings later. I can't do it while I'm riding around on the mower. Well, I mean, you probably do that if I had a mower with a bag on it, but that seems like a lot of work, and I don't have that right now. So, all right, let's get up in this bush. Get up in this bush. There we go. Yeah. Guy, you need a mulching blade? Mm. Well, you know what? We only have access to what we have purchased thus far, and we have not purchased that. So, unfortunately, we will not be using a mulching blade at the current moment. I am lucky that these flowers have even survived as long as this. You know, I'm having a lot more fun doing this than watching Last Chance U basketball like I've been doing for the last two hours. So, you know. There we go. It, sometimes playing games like this is... What do you mean I damaged the ground? How did I damage the ground? Oh. Oh. I took that turn a little too hot, didn't I? Uh-oh. Oh, that's not good. That, that's not good. You know, you make an excellent point. Does anyone have a lawn care service of which they just kind of, like, set the ground to blaze and then just, like, let it control burn? Because that either... I mean, that sounds like an insurance liability, 100%, but it also sounds in sweet. So, I don't know. I feel like I'm willing to incur damages to watch that occur, though. Because like, that's pretty sick. I have no idea where this last patch of grass is. I'm just kind of winging it, dude. I, I, like, I feel like I might find it at some point. But, oh, wait, hold on. I think I might have found it. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, yeah. Is there microtransactions in this game? You fucking better believe there's microtransactions. Are you serious? Of course. There's a whole dinosaur pack where you mow like a dinosaur themed adventure park, which I'll be honest, looks kind of sick. Would I spend money to go mow an exotic location? No, not necessarily, but is it tempting in a certain capacity? Kinda. I would love to find this last piece of grass, dude, because I swear to God, like one day, one day I'll find it. Hold on, I think I found it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, yeah, we're going. By a combine harvester. <laughs> I do have Farming Simulator. I'm probably going to do a video on Farming Simulator at some point in the near future. Because that, that was a pretty enjoyable experience. Power Wash Simulator, also pretty cool. Pretty much all the simulators are our type. Ah, contract complete. We have officially completed the lawn. Let's go first person Hank Hill mode here. Absolutely. I'll tell you what. There we go. Dang it, Bobby. Yeah, well, uh. Oop, skirt. All right. Get me off the lawnmower, dog. Hold on. All right, all right, all right. Not engaged. Dude, I have no idea how to get off the lawnmower. <laughs> this, this is the issue that we're dealing with right now. Oh, wait. Hold up. We're good. Oh, we got the string trimmer. Oh, let's go. Oh, my God. Yes. How do I do this? 
Oh yeah, pick up the grass. Yes, 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 yes. I have left so many grass piles out here. You know what? It's all good. We're picking it all up. Dude, how deep is this man's pockets, dog? Like, how many grass piles am I picking up right now? I am cooking, dog. There we go. Like, my pockets are just filled with grass clippings right now, which, you know, it speaks for itself, truly. Oh, I actually got to, like, hold the button down. I've just been walking around pressing it for no reason. <laughs> Yeah, should, doing the tutorial is beneficial if you are going to take the journey into a uh, lawn care professional -ism, but you know what? I didn't do it, and uh, here we are. So, you know, it is what it is, I guess. Okay, I'm, I'm done doing this. I'm just going to incur the fines. You know what? I've skipped fines before, and I'll skip fines again, dude. It doesn't matter. I will say that this was a really good time. Also, I like how I uh, mentioned all these things about America, and I am very clearly in some sort of English suburb. Like, I'm sorry, is this a goddamn Jaguar? Like, yeah, no. With the right side driving? Yeah, we're definitely not in Iowa, as I previously mentioned. Like, I'm sorry. Also, can we talk about how America's so goddamn stupid? We put driver's side on the wrong side just to be different. I love that, personally. I love it. Let's get into Super Duty and get out of here. That is how you become a legend of lawn cutting right there. Let me tell you. Old Nook Cottage, which should have been my literal first hint that this did not take place in the United States. Looking a lot better than before I got here. That is for sure. Look at this. Pristine. I mean, there's a couple donuts in the yard that maybe they're not going to be so happy about. Also, like I was cutting the lawn of a cottage. I feel like we don't have cottages here outside of places that definitely do not align with the values of which I was giving Reggie. So I guess it doesn't really matter, but you know, it is what it is. See, they do have a Dino Safari DLC. All right, let's see what happened here. Okay, so uh, we lost $21 in fines, which is okay because we were never going to pay them. Uh, so that's fine. We got $297, dude. We're out here. We have a we have a total purse right now of $829 to our name, which uh, is about $829 more dollars than anyone with this kind of goatee has to their name. So that's that's a good sign, truly. I enjoyed my time with Lawnmower Simulator. <laughs>